Government officials have highlighted yet another problem for workers at Fukushima Daiichi and other nuclear facilities nearby. They've analyzed the results of physical exams and say they've seen an increase in health problems. Officials with the health ministry analyzed the results of physicals for the first time. Around 6,700 workers who deal with radiation had the checkups last year. Most reportedly work at nuclear power plants. The officials say more than 4% of those workers had health problems, such as high white blood cell counts. That's four times the proportion who had health issues in 2010, before the accident at Fukushima Daiichi. Still, the officials say they can't easily compare the old and new results. They say the nuclear facilities have replaced 70 percent of their staff over the past three years. Workers with health problems had to undergo more detailed tests or have treatment. Ministry officials plan to conduct a survey to learn more about the impact of radiation. Engineers at Japan's crippled nuclear plant are closer to solving a mystery that's worried people around the world. They spent weeks trying to figure out why radioactive water leaked from a steel storage tank. Now they found a possible cause, loose bolts. More than 300 tons of contaminated water leaked last month from a tank on the Fukushima Daiichi site. Some of that water may have made its way into the Pacific Ocean. The engineers began dismantling the tank this week in hopes of finding clues. They discovered five bolts holding steel plates together at the bottom of the tank were loose. They say that probably caused the leak. Still, they plan to check rusty plates and deformed resins in case water also escaped there. Fukushima Daiichi has more than 300 similar tanks, all holding radioactive water. Engineers fear those containers could have similar defects. But they say they can't check or reinforce them or replace them all at the same time. For the time being, they're promising to monitor the tanks more closely. Managers at the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant are trying to resolve a problem that's been hampering the cleanup operation. They say they'll soon test a filtering system that could remove most radioactive substances from wastewater that's accumulating at the site. Officials at Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, say the advanced liquid processing system is the key to their plans to purify the contaminated water. The company aims to decontaminate thousands of tons of stored wastewater by March 2015. TEPCO engineers initially planned to begin using the system in August, but they postponed their decision after they found a water leak during a test run in June. The officials say the leak was most likely caused by the chemicals that corroded the system. Engineers have since reinforced the system with a corrosion-proof material. Workers will begin a test run of one of the systems on Friday. They plan to start the remaining two systems by mid-November. Once the systems are fully operational, TEPCO officials expect they'll be able to treat 500 tons of contaminated water per day. The utility plans to increase the filtering capacity by introducing higher performance systems. However, these filters cannot remove tritium, a radioactive isotope of hydrogen with weaker energy. It exists mainly in the form of water. TEPCO has still not decided how it will eventually dispose of the filtered water. Kashiwazaki Kariwa in Niigata Prefecture is the world's largest nuclear power plant. Operator Tokyo Electric Power Company is again trying to persuade Niigata's governor to support restarting two of its seven reactors. TEPCO head Naomi Hirose wants Hirohiko Izumida's approval for government safety checks to the reactors. The last time they met in July, the two men clashed. Hirose was hoping for a better reception when they met on Wednesday. In July, Izumida criticized TEPCO for pushing ahead with the safety checks without local consent. He accused the utility of trying to install vents at the plant without informing the prefectural authority. Hirose took a pile of documents on to Tuesday's meeting. To Wednesday's meeting, rather, the documents detail the modifications being done at Kashiwazaki Kariwa to meet stringent new safety guidelines. Please take these documents to allow the installation of filter vents at the plant. The governor refused to take the documents in July. He accepted them this time, but still showed he would be no pushover. 
I've asked this question before and I'll ask it again. Which is more important for TEPCO, money or safety? Hirose says, naturally enough, safety. Struggling TEPCO is desperate to restart the number six and number seven reactors of the seven reactor facility. But first, they have to be screened under the government's tough new safety guidelines. Governor Izumira has questioned the use of new mandatory filter vents. The vents are supposed to relieve pressure in reactor containment vessels during an emergency. But Izumida says the vents will end up releasing radioactive material. He says TEPCO failed to tell the prefectural government about their installation. Hirose says TEPCO intends to install the vents to help limit any radiation release. He hopes the Niigata prefectural authority will give its consent. I want to establish once and for all, is TEPCO in a hurry to seek the government's safety screening? Certainly. We need checks, first of all, by someone who is knowledgeable about the plant. The governor has signaled he's willing to look at the TEPCO documents, but he gave no indication he'll consent to safety checks or to restarting reactors. The Fukushima Daiichi disaster has put TEPCO deeply in the red. The utility has learned it'll have to find another $10 billion to deal with contaminated water at the Fukushima plant and decommission its reactors. TEPCO currently has to rely on thermal plants, which means big outlays in fuel costs. It hopes that getting those reactors back online at Kashiwazaki Kariwa will give it some breathing space. Workers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant are trying to keep radioactive water from seeping into the sea, but they've reported the problem. They say an underwater filtering system called a silt fence has developed a tear. This is the second time in five months that a fence has become damaged. The Tokyo Electric Power Company operates the plant. Company officials say workers found a tear in a part of the fence near reactors 5 and 6. There are also fences near reactors 1 and 4. The reactors were severely damaged by the earthquake and tsunami two years ago and have been leaking radioactive water. TEPCO installed the fences to prevent radioactive substances from seeping into the ocean. The barriers also keep soil and sand out of the plant's water intake system. Japanese nuclear regulators are concerned. They say radioactive water could spread beyond the plant's port. The Nuclear Regulation Authority has ordered a TEPCO to measure radiation levels in seawater near the plant. TEPCO officials are set to apply for inspections so they can fire up two reactors on the Sea of Japan coast. They've been updating safety features at the Kashiwazaki Kariwa plant. The governor of the prefecture hosting the facility has given the application the green light. TEPCO President Naomi Hirose met on Wednesday with Niigata Governor Hirohiko Izumida. He explained plans to install additional safety equipment for the reactors. Filter vents are designed to release pressure in containment vessels while limiting massive emissions of radioactive substances if an accident occurs. Now, while Niigata officials have approved TEPCO's application, they've added a condition. They want managers to consult with local officials on how the vents will be used to prevent residents from being exposed to radiation. Nuclear plant operators need to pass safety checks by the Nuclear Regulation Authority before they restart reactors. The regulators introduced tougher rules in July. All 50 reactors in Japan are offline now. Four utilities have applied for inspections to restart 12 units. TEPCO officials haven't submitted any applications until now. They found it difficult to file for safety checks at Kashiwazaki Kariwa because of initial opposition by the governor. Izumida had expressed concern that filter vents could be vulnerable to earthquakes. TEPCO is eager to restart the reactors as it is facing growing fuel costs for non-nuclear thermal power generation. Officials from Tokyo Electric Power Company have want to restart two nuclear reactors, the same kind that experienced meltdowns at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. The reactors are part of the Kashiwazaki Kariwa nuclear power plant in Niigata Prefecture in central Japan. TEPCO officials submitted an application for a safety screening to the Nuclear Regulation Authority on Friday. Rules that went into effect in July require that boiling water reactors like those at the plant have filtered vents. Such vents are designed to release pressure in reactor containment vessels during emergencies while limiting the emission of radioactive substances.
TEPCO's managing executive officer Takafumi Anegawa said Niigata's governor has asked that the use of such events be approved by the prefecture. He said he will relay that request to regulatory agency officials. A team of 80 experts at the regulatory agency is screening application for six other plants with pressurized water reactors. This is the first time applications for boiling water reactors have been subject to such review. IAEA Director General Yukia Amano has discussed the leakage of radioactive water at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. He was interviewed by Japanese media in Vienna ahead of his scheduled visit to Japan in October. It is not sufficient, even if Japan says we have been monitoring levels of seawater radioactivity and we will release the data to the world. It's crucial for Japan to conform to the international standards and cooperate with international bodies from the planning stage. The IAEA plans to send inspectors to Japan this autumn. The agency is considering including seawater analysis specialists on the mission. Fixing Fukushima Daiichi is the more urgent task at hand, but that's riddled with challenges. TEPCO President Naomi Hirose says his company delayed the construction of underground walls around damaged reactors because other work was given priority. The walls are designed to block any leakage of contaminated water. Hirose testified on Friday at a lower house committee meeting held to discuss the problem of massive groundwater contamination at the facility. He admitted TEPCO was aware at an early stage that radioactive water was leaking into the sea. Three months after the nuclear accident, the utility decided to build underground walls around the reactor buildings. When asked why TEPCO officials did not pursue the plan, Hirose said they had to deal with many hot spots of radiation as well as contaminated debris. Hirose said the government and TEPCO initially decided to build underground walls near the sea instead of around the reactor buildings. The seaside walls were built by solidifying an embankment with chemicals. The current plan calls for building walls around the reactors by freezing the soil, which is unprecedented in scale and cost. Hope for a new filtration system at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant has turned to disappointment. Only one day after starting a test run of the system that was hoped would eliminate almost all of the radioactive materials in accumulating wastewater, officials have shut it down. Tokyo Electric Power Company officials say they made the decision after they detected a decline in the flow of radioactive wastewater into a storage tank. TEPCO officials say they're checking what caused the problem. They do not know when the decontaminating operation will resume. It was the first time TEPCO had tried the new advanced liquid processing system ever since officials shut it down because of corrosion in August. The equipment is designed to remove almost all of the radioactive materials in wastewater that is accumulating at the plant. The operators of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant have resumed the operation of a system used to filter radioactive materials from water. It says a human error caused the suspension last week. Workers at Tokyo Electric Power Company on Monday resumed their test run of the Advanced Liquid Processing System, or ALPS. They suspended the operations on Friday. They had just resumed it for the first time in a month and a half. The workers detected a reduction in the flow of contaminated water in a pipe that sends water to a storage tank. TEPCO officials said a loose rubber mat clogged the drain. They say workers forgot to remove it after inspecting the inside of the tank. They had used the mat under a ladder during the inspection. The plant's officials have been plagued with problems using the Alps. They found a water leak in June caused by corrosion.